Hello and welcome back to The Walking Dead Saints and Sinners Chapter 2. I'm full. Seems our moment has arrived, tourist. I must confess, I am disappointed in you. You struck me as a lone wolf, but you are nothing but a pawn. A tower lucky, if ever there was one. I know, because I used to be like you. In 
moments, you will be free of the tyranny. I will sever you from the lies in death. <laughs> you will finally know the truth. And after I am through with you, the tower will face its own reckoning. Precious beacon of corruption reduced to a pile of smoldering rubble and burnt flesh. The curse of the tower finally lifted. But that is for another day. This moment is our moment. You are prepared to fight! Enough talk! Now, I will end you! I must recover. I cannot fall! Ah, you f fuck. Seeing you squirm is a pleasure. Two hits. There you are. There's a free one over here. family.
our lackey. The tower is gonna pay too. They're next on my list. <laughs> Finish what you started, fool. Spare me more days in this wretched hell. Give me peace. My pleasure. <laughs> and <laughs> 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 Seems like the overlay for VR has broken again. So I, I didn't see that notification. Okay, things that I don't need. what I'm going to take with me. Some of these grenades I don't need. Good enough. Alright, so way out, which was this way, maybe?
Uh. Which way is it? I'm Ah, over there. By water in it. Desi, 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 put, put it down. Put it down right now. I will let all this slide. Forget it all happened. Trust me, okay? Trust you? Everyone who trusts you winds up dead. That's not gonna be me. I'm not letting you drag me down anymore. You kidding me? You'd be dead in a matter of weeks without me. Look, we make this move, we survive. You understand? It's the only reason we're doing it. It's the only way. And trade one master for another? No. All I do is answer to the Pawn King for every damn thing. And I'm sick and tired of it. I'm done answering to anyone. Tourists, fuck. Thank God you're here. A sane person. Talk some sense into her. She's gone nuts. What's going on here, Desiree? He's had it coming, okay? For a long time. This, this is not some whim, all right? This is a decision, a calculated, conscious decision by me, for me. Decision? Yes, baby girl. Listen, there is no decision, okay? There's only one thing to do. You drop the gun, we talk this through. You're not right in the head. You're not right in the head. I'm just supposed to go with you to the fucking tower? I don't need you anymore. I haven't for a long time. But you kept me here under your thumb. Now you're telling me that I have to go live in that prison because you made some deal with Mama? A deal that was in both of our best interests, baby. 
She promised to take uh. care of us, Des. There's a lot you don't know, girl. Made another fucking deal, huh, Sonny? I fucked up, okay? But what choice did I have? Mama came here with a bunch of goons and threatened me. Said she'd burn the Pond King down to the ground with us inside. Unless we went along with her plan. The ambush, taking out both you and Gary. But if I did it, if I helped her, then Dez and I would both survive what was coming. She's gonna wipe out the exiles, kill every last one of them. That's what she told me, word for word. Desiree, for the love of Christ, come on, put the gun down. Stop telling me what to do! I'm in control here, not you! Yes, 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 you're in control, that is established. But come on, Des, you're not gonna pull the trigger anyway. Fuck. I pulled the trigger. And now you are gonna listen to me for once in your life. I'm listening, I swear. Jesus Christ, my eardrum. I can't hear nothing but ringing. I have begged almost my entire life to know something, anything about my mother. Just so I could have some understanding of who I am. But you have never told me anything. Never even shown me a picture of her. And then the walkers came. And we could have helped her. But we just left her out there. Day after day alone. To die. How am I supposed to forgive me for that? Desiree, you need to think this through. If he's gone, you'll be completely on your own. You've done it. Lola has too. I could be a loner. I could survive. I just have to figure out how to live with myself. Yeah, yeah, la de da de da You kill me, Desiree, and you'll regret it for the rest of your life. Believe me, it'll hang over your head. If I kill you, I've become a murderer, a monster, the kind of person I would hate. But then again, I'd also be free. I'd be free in a fucked up world, sure. But at least I'd be free from you. Free? I could never let you go, Desiree. You're my daughter. That's how it is. Someday you'll understand. You're not helping. But if I need to die today because of it, then I will. That's fine. Go, go on ahead. Go on and pull the trigger, baby. Because I ain't letting you go. You're making this harder than I thought it would be. It's up to you, Desiree. You know what's right. If I was in your spot, I'd have been screaming for revenge. But you saved me, and I owe you for that. You don't owe me, Sonny. If it was me on the other side of the glass, you'd be dead. You owe her. You're right. I do. I'm sorry, Dez, for everything. Another achievement. I don't know which one it was, but hey. I may have to reinstall Steam VR or do an integrity check. What's next? Is that the mission over? Yep, that's all tasks over. Better head home. Take some pills. Ugh! <sighs> 
I'm home. Seems good. Still need more shafts.
more durability for things. Might be better, might be good. I'm going to leave this episode here. If you enjoyed, leave a like, subscribe, and have a good one.